A day not unlike today, overcast, rainy, uh, up early because I was supposed to be participating in a golf tournament in High River. And as I'm making my way down, uh, the phone's ringing and they're saying, we may not be playing golf, uh, very disappointed, it's so wet, it's so rainy. And very quickly, the concern turned from not being in a golf tournament to what can we do to help? What can we do to get people evacuated? What can we do to try and help people who on the verge of losing so much and ultimately what we learned late days later losing everything so as I'm driving down Deerfoot Trail on a rainy day emotion is mixed because you're looking forward to the event and the social and everything else that would be taking place and it quickly turns to an immediate need of how can we help and what can we do and I recall donating uh, all the food and all the beverages and all the stuff that we had for the golf tournament to volunteers and workers and people that were helping evacuate. And then I remember returning home later in the day and watching the coverage on the news and the surreal feeling of witnessing something that was in a community that you know well and you know intimately. Thinking of so many faces of the people you know, the uh, families that you've come to know and have come part of the dog's family and watching on the news as literally their lives and their livelihoods are washed away. And immediately that heavy and sad feeling of realizing that this community may be changed forever and honestly and quickly the thought turns to what can we do to help and what can we do to mitigate some of the danger and some of the damage and some of the loss.